Anyway. Alright, this wholesome podcast. Wholesome B Mitch. I gotta think of a new name for Trey. <laughs> Spiteful <laughs> Trey. You ready you ready going with the spiteful Yeah, because it's just true. Spiteful Trey is always in the building. We got Marie. Of course. <laughs> we got Tessa. <laughs> Welcome to the Hosen Podcast. Welcome. But before we start, check us out on Apple Podcasts, IG, Spotify, YouTube, Twitter, all that. Like, comment, share, let us know what's good type shit. Yeah, like, comment, share, and make sure, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So today what I want to know is, I've been seeing something that says, like, men ruined all the women that want to date just for love, and now women only want to date for money just in general because men ruin all the love mm. what's y'all thoughts on that well um <laughs> don't be scared to talk about okay, okay, yeah, no, no, no. okay, okay, it okay some might call it like a go there with men some men but honestly if you don't have like nothing for me i don't want to talk to you you know what i mean it's nothing like against you or anything like that but i need a man who can do something for me who can put me in a better position you know what i mean like Okay, I'm doing for myself, but what can you do for me? That's just that. So, yeah. And I feel like, um, when it comes to that, I feel like when, in the past, when I was younger and I did date for love, I got fucked over. Or I was the one that was, like, taking care of a man that was... He was a trick. (laughs) <laughs> a I, was a trick, whatever. <laughs> I was taking care of a man that uh, you know wasn't like he loved me but like also he was like using me because he knew that I could do a lot for him so yeah I do feel like I don't know so love is out the, <laughs> so love is out the window y'all just a nigga need to do some shit for you no no, no I, I love is still in the window it's still in a window, but like that's honestly, at the bottom I, of your list. Yeah, at this point, cause we're in our prime. You know what I mean? Like at this point, we're glowing, baby. You know what I mean? So why would we actually get a man who can't do shit for us to be with and hold us down? That's not holding us down. That's just basically blocking us from our blessings. Mm, I mean, is it really blocking blessings? What if a dude? What can a, he do for us? What if a dude would approach y'all the same way? Well, I clear it happened to you clearly, right? So it already happened to you. But so, like, what if a dude approach you the same way? Like, what, what what do you bring to the table? What can you do in this situation? Yeah, what can you do for a nigga? Well, I bring loyalty, happiness. I mean, I could. Well, so, you ain't bring no the money. money. I mean, I can bring money. He said yeah. the dick. Like, you feel me? If I'm bringing money, if I'm paying for shit, can Listen, I can do all that. I can make a man happy. I Listen, my last nigga, I made him so happy. It was just crazy, though, because, like, I was just unhappy for the simple fact. So, the money what, wasn't enough. It, the money wasn't just it, nigga. The nigga was a baller, you know what I mean. But it was just like, do you want to splurge on me? Or are you scared because you think I'll use you for your money? That was the thing. So. So was he splurging or what? Yeah, I mean, he little trick on me, but. Then we talking about who you scared for? It was just more to it. Let's just say like. Um. Okay, the next question. Posting. <laughs> posting females. Posting your Damn, girlfriend. You just, posting just, your girlfriend. People have a problem. Niggas have a problem with posting their bitch. Like, you going through something somebody's supposed to be posting you right now? It's and not you even that. Like, if, you, you're, if you're with someone for like years upon years and you still think, haven't posted that person, what I are think this doing? is what she's getting at. And let me know if I'm wrong and okay. shit. So, so he breaking bread on you and shit, whatever, but he ain't posting you. Is that, am I correct? So you're triggered right now. So, so it makes sense and shit. Like, feel me? If you just want money, you acquire money to be with you, that means any nigga can get you. So other nigga might be fucking you. So why the fuck am I going to post you? No, it's not that, honestly. Um, like, it was more so we were talking before I even knew he had hella bread. So it's not even about, it wasn't about the money at that. You know what I mean? It was a simple fact, nigga, I'm posting you. So why aren't you posting me? Why aren't you telling people we're together if I'm telling people, you know, I'm with you? Kind of. I don't know. But it's yeah, like I'll the simple fact, like, well, he'll tell like his homeboys and things like that. But I'm like public wise, why are you clowning if you're in a relationship? No, that, that's not valid. That's not valid. If I'm telling my friend, that's all that matter. Social media is a facade. That shit ain't real. So why are you going to tell the world you when... You just asked me about love and money, okay? I think that's love. I think that's... 
admiration, you posting and showing your girlfriend off for one. So you just asking about love and money. Okay, cool. You're 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 giving me money, but nigga, where's the love? Or maybe the love is I'm giving you the fucking money. It's not even. I ain't gotta post you. <laughs> if I'm sh- if I give you the fucking right. money, why I gotta post you for? So why are you asking me the question about love and money then if it's the same thing? For some people, that doesn't. You can have your own perspective. Your perspective don't got to be his perspective. Yeah, it's it's like, totally it don't got to be Ken's perspective or my perspective. We can all have different perspective of what, on what, on what money can buy and what and what's just money true love. Money can buy happiness, baby. But, but, it but can't, ain't but, gonna buy me <laughs> posting you. <laughs> this ain't no paid promotion. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't ask about happiness. Y'all asked about love. Right. So I don't. I personally, here? I pers- love is between two people. Happiness is between one. What are we talking about? I personally. What are we talking about here? I mean, I ain't paying for none of that shit. Yeah, okay, me that's personally. You. That's you. So love, happiness. But you I, asked the question, my answer. So I'm just, I'm saying in terms of dating. I mean, you clearly, you saying the money is more important. Cassie kind of in between. You kind of in between where it's like you still for for love. For love for you is have getting some money with it, and on top of that, post. the posting. You got, you guys got it backwards. I, honestly, I don't care about posting because I feel like. It's having people in your business and like, you know, you could keep it private too, but like still know you're in a relationship and y'all together. Exactly. So if you're acting like you're single on social media, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That's like, what are you doing for real? You know what I mean? What Mm. if he thinks social media, what if if you're acting single? On social media. What do you think, like, how she thinks? Social media ain't real. People just want to be a business. If we know what the fuck we got going on, why do anything else matter? Because we don't so know these... call it a sneaky link. We don't, don't call it love. No, we don't know we these people fucking. who be watching this shit. We just fucking. Don't no. call it no love. So do, do he go mm-hmm. and take you out on dates in public, in public settings? That's, yeah. a good, that's a good point. Okay. So you were going out in public settings. Every, okay, let's... So motherfuckers see you. And if you live in Minnesota, the people will see you. What the fuck do it matter like if social this. media wait, see wait, you? Wait, 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 okay. So if we go out in public together, that's a different story. But if we go out... Se- let's yeah, say I yeah. go out with Kessa and I see him at a club. We gonna act like we don't know each other. You know what I mean? Okay. Kind of though. You, you get where I'm... I, no, I feel oh, that oh, part. Okay. I do okay. feel that. So now... The question is love and money. You know what I mean? Show me that you want me, nigga. Other than that, nigga, okay, it's just about the money. Yeah, I'm in a relationship for the money at this point. I'm with you for the money at this point because clearly ain't no love there. What if, I mean, so let me ask you this. Is there more ways to show that he loves you opposed to just that public affection? Maybe that's just her love language and that's what she wants. But I I don't know. I'm going to ask her. Um, (laughs) Yes, there's plenty more, but... I wouldn't go into details. And so, my, but it, is, it doesn't just have to be public, more, though. But that's just my main. You know what I mean? You're acting like you're single, but you're not. And my yeah, thing so. is, cause he got to do something for you. As a dude, I don't know if all do think like this, but if it start on, I gotta do something for you. I gotta have money. It's all the good shit. All this display of fucking public affection don't fucking matter. That shit don't matter as a dude who just going out. Okay, she so want me to break. So what if you eventually getting married to that woman that you're saying it don't matter to? Would you eventually post her your wedding pictures? Anything? Like yeah, that's that? different. Yeah. Okay, no, it's not different. It's the same fucking thing. Because I'm not it's posting love, no it's if affection. I, I'm not. It's showing that person that you care about them. That's showing the person you're. You're showing that person. I don't want people. Why would you want to hide that person? I don't want people in my business. You're fucking beautiful. Maybe you just don't want. To, yes, you're beautiful, but I don't want people in my business. Yeah, and I think there's a lot that come. Someone else might. No, I think like I said, some people are just private like that. Hmm. And I think it's okay to to be private sometimes because, like, uh, like Drake said in the song, somehow you gotta hide people from the world. Like, if you (laughs) date certain people, (laughs) I'm dead serious. That's a real thing. Like, you That's date certain people, you're going to get more haters just the fact that you date them. And exactly. it's going to get people like, digging shit. at it, trying people, to break y'all up. People make false accusations and shit. Oh, I'll fuck your bitch. Or somebody be like, oh, going to come to you. Oh, I've been fucking man. It could be a fucking lie. Niggas don't want to go through shit like that. You feel me? And me, like, yeah, niggas got a podcast or whatever. But I literally ain't make a IG for myself. And I'm 30 years old for the first time till last year. Because I'm legit. 30? I'm How 30. Old? That was very hurtful. Never say that. Never say that. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm totally joking. Yeah, that, 30, that 30 hit different, huh, Trey? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> different. I, found, I feel oh, but like, but like G shit. I ain't make an IG to literally like last year type shit. Like my personal one. Like I'm just not a social media as nigga. Like for me in person. So for a person like me, it's more meaningful to do the in person shit. If I take you out and plus we go on dates and shit, that's more meaningful to me than social media because social media ain't real to me. So if I if I'm actually taking you out for real on a date. That's important because clearly people are gonna see me. Social media, fuck them. I don't know them niggas. But let's let's talk about this. I mean, how do y'all um, let the the public know that you're involved with somebody? Like, what do y'all do to let somebody know that you're involved? Put a ring on it. Okay, you go first. <laughs> um, well, I like do shit like I'll post stuff like, oh look, what do you like? You oh, just was saying how you don't post nothing. No, 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 no. I'm saying I'm saying too because at this point girl i'm just saying like i won't like i don't have to post like oh this is who i'm with so i could be like oh like look what bae did for me or like bae did this like mm. okay he got me some flowers i post some flowers it's you know? private so i get that it's yeah private, you won't you know who it is but i'm saying like you know you know i'm with somebody but you don't know who it is or what we got going on or i could take a trip like and you know this is another thing where like you could take a trip with somebody and like you don't post like oh y'all together but you post you're on a trip and people would like start thinking all these type of things but it's kind of like what if i just wanted to show me having a good time why do i have to post that person right like i could just post like uh, like us having a good time but you don't have to know who i'm with <laughs> you know, like, you're so funny if, sure. I'm, like, if i'm I if totally i'm with it's a, exactly. if i'm with someone and taking them seriously and shit, I don't want the world to know all my intimate moments with this person. Like, I want that vibe between us. Everybody ain't supposed to know that. We probably had a little vibe that people don't know. So just like, call it a sneaky link. That ain't a sneaky link. That totally. Y'all that can be rocking heavy. That, yeah. that, that ain't nothing sneaky about it. It's just. Like, it's, it's to us. It's, I, I just want. I don't it's want. sneaky. Do you guys know the definition of sneaky? Maybe we don't. Because basically, no one knows what y'all doing. No, he not That's saying sneaky. like it's not it's it's secretive. It's, it's, I'm not sneaky. saying it's secretive. It's sneaky link, nigga. Y'all, y'all, y'all <laughs> linking up when nobody knowing. <laughs> it's like no, no, no. So this is this is what I'm saying. I'm, I'll take her out. We could go to the Vikings game, the Twins game, the Timberwolves. Okay. We in minutes. Everybody will fucking see it. It's you feel me. Everybody will see the shit. Type shit. But social media but, don't need to see it. If I'm really, if it's just me and you, it just need to be me and you. It don't need to be on social media. So, exactly. so how do you That's show that you that you're involved with this person? To the world. Yeah, in general. I will involve. Uh, I don't know. He don't look, he <laughs> but no, I really like, don't know. But the not, world, the world, the, the world will know. I will post on social media once I put a ring on it. No. Otherwise, before then, uh, why, why, why am I posting? You? So I got a question for you now. You're, you said thirty. Do you see yourself getting married at this point? Yo, they, yo. Oh, first of all, the way, the way, the way she worded that. Yeah, like, at this point, you're yeah, going to get married, nigga? Damn. Like, like, nigga, old as hell. How old are y'all? Can I just... I'm 24. I'm 25. Okay, y'all. Did yeah. you get married at this point or what? It's the time, clock ticket. Shit, one day? <laughs> no, not for me. <laughs> one day, maybe I'll get married, maybe not. I'm not pressed about the shit. Maybe I have one wife, maybe I have two. I'm not pressed about the shit. Whatever happens, happens. Well, I mean, you, I mean, you said it as if the, the like. You, are you gonna be married by thirty? I don't know. I'm not thirty, so. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I hope so. I hope I have a family. I hope I'm settled down by the time I'm thirty. That's five years from now. That's a five lot. Five years ago, quick. A, I ain't gonna lie. I know. I did twenty five. You know how many years fucking ago. days that is? Do you know how much minutes? Like, nigga, what? That's time. You think I'm gonna waste that on what? But Hitting this goals? nigga like me, look, no. look, look, look. So <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> So, nigga like me, this how I think and shit. If a woman, if I got a bag and shit, you feel me? A woman acquire money to fuck with you, yeah, I fuck with her. Shit, if I got a bag, maybe I'll marry her. But once you get old and shit, I'm getting a new model. I'm getting a newer version of you and shit. So, <laughs> that's how you acquire. But that if is you, not love. Wait, so, you're with her for the money, then. Wait, wait, you me, started off on the money. It. Here, but let me make something clear. What? You start if you start on the money. If it, if it was the organic and you feel me, that's different. But if you require money from the beginning, yeah, I'll fuck with you. I'll fuck with you. But once you get old, <laughs> shit might change. You're gonna be older than her though. I got a bad bitch. Is still gonna fuck with me. 
You my guys dad. are so funny. I heard that before. But, but that's why he said you gonna get the younger version of her. Yeah. Let me say this: you gotta, you if you want to make it with some money, you gotta have some too. So it's yeah, kind of exactly. like make it you can't just out. feel like oh he or got money. He bare just minimum, on me. hide your intentions. Don't just be blatant about it. I'm right. So I'm you not like that realize, bitch. Nah, I'd rather you be blatant. Just yeah. Like, like exactly. You don't want to realize. If you bitch. hide your attentions. That's too no, foul. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but now I'm rich. saying I'll fuck with you, but you made me fall in love with something that's really not you. Like that's not yeah. you, baby. That's not you. You know it. I like, say yeah. So why would you? Keep, Keep it a buck, let me choose. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to choose, but once you get old, though, I'm choosing something else. <laughs> but, yeah. but you're going to be older than her, so who knows? Women don't someone, care. If, if someone's going to choose you, they're going to choose you for your money, nigga, the same thing that she chose you for. So why not get a newer model? That's that's the thing. That's what he's saying. Go yeah. ahead then. So you're just in it for the money. So don't ask me no, for the money. No, these women are in it for the money. And I clearly, I was, he gonna, he said, clearly they, I was okay with it because I chose you in the first place. Yeah. So now you're getting old. I'm going to replace you. <laughs> Wow, that's how you said. Hey, it started uh, off with money, so she want money too, but she look better because she ain't owe no more. Are you listening to this, kid? And this ain't really my. I, but but don't. but even even when even when he's saying so, based on how dating is, where women are only in it for the money right now, what what he's saying fits that. No, from a man perspective, and people people be getting my shit fucked up and shit. Let's I be up. speaking off of how other dudes think. This is a real thing. You see all these old dudes who be married to these fine ass women and shit, and they always divorce them and get a new bitch. Like Bill Clinton just got Every divorced, fucking and that's body. the richest nigga on earth. You're right now. Bill at this Clinton. Point, is it Bill Clinton? It's not Bill Clinton. Who is it? You talking about Bill Gates and shit? Bill Gates. Okay, Bill. Bill. <laughs> Bill. Bill, fuck it, One Bill. Of the bills. But anyways, he got divorced. His wife divorced him. That's the rich ni- richest nigga on earth. You know what I mean? So clearly, you know, like it's all different. these rich niggas get let a me new model. Let, let me get into something deeper, okay? Y'all say it's the whole new generation of lo- money is like the new love, basically. I know. I don't okay, think we said that. We didn't say that. We didn't say that. We didn't say that. Would y'all no, I did not say that. y'all ask like would um about would you date a nigga for money or love or something of in that nature? Laje blah. Okay, let's get into this then. The new law that passed abortion cannot be passed now. You know what I mean? It's still so cool in Minnesota. It, mm-hmm. Not now. in all states though, my yeah. are, you, are you getting me though? No, yeah, hear you're me right. Out. No, hear I me hear out you. though. Hear me out. So but what if you Minnesota. what if you get pregnant? What if it was just anything, incest, rape, anything, but you get pregnant by a broke nigga. Let's just use that category. You get pregnant by a broke nigga. You it was just a one night stand. It's a lot you know of what I mean? This and that. You know what I mean? Okay, cool. You finna have a whole, you finna bring a whole baby into this world, a whole life. Mm-hmm. What can that nigga do? He's broke. But it's too late. You already broke. Pregnant. It doesn't matter. But the simple fact, y'all asking about money and love, bitch. Like, no, you know, had the money, you, had, had you, the abortion you, money, you, you, had the abortion you, money. Right, that you should and say. And also, uh, this uh, is we're speaking of scenario. They don't mean it for every fucking body. Because some people really you keep fell the baby. In love with a some, broke nigga. You fell in love with a, a broke women nigga. Do exactly. You fell in love with a broke nigga. But you didn't want that. But you didn't want that baby. You didn't want to bring a life into this world when you can't afford it. Travel to a minute. You could get a plane ticket to Minnesota. But money is money is the root to all evil, baby. You don't have you gonna you don't have to bring some to the fucking table. Is what I'm saying. The the moral of the story. You want or or wear a condom. Date a nigga with some money because what can you do for me at the end of the day? Practice safe sex. What can a broke nigga do for me at the end of the day? You answer it. What no, can a broke nigga nothing. do? Nothing. What can a broke bitch for, do for you at the end of the day? Nothing. Exactly. I, I what can a broke to... nigga do for you? Nothing at all. What can a broke bitch do for you? I wouldn't be fucking with a broke nigga, though. Oh, you know, so, so, so broke bitches might be fun, like money. <laughs> money. Just, money. Like, just wait for a pause so I can get it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Broke bitch, some broke bitches are fun. So, like, yeah. You need a fun bitch in your life. Yeah, everyone's going to date for money. Even guys, they're dating for money. They're looking for a bitch that they can come up off of. Like, nah, I disagree, though. I think... Well... I can't completely. Just, that's what people are dating for nowadays. But however, so you agree? <laughs> but I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I don't consider myself part of that dating pool that people doing that nowadays. I'm more so from a class where it's like, what do you bring to the table? It don't necessarily got to be money. You could bring skills, mindsets, uh, wisdom. You could bring other stuff yeah. to the table to make somebody long, better long besides as money. As long as you're compatible and you're willing to grow and better yourself, and you feel me, the money shit will come. Feel me, or feel you me. have a way of just making me better. So I mean. Say 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 you say you're a teacher, right? You a teacher in an inner city school. You get paid thirty thousand a year. That's like twelve dollars an hour or something like that. But you're 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 very smart. You're very intelligent. You have maybe 
major business concepts, but that's not what you do. I can't knock you for what you for what you're doing. Yeah, I definitely write for teaching. One hundred percent. I can't knock you for that. Yeah, you don't got no money to really do nothing, really. But that's okay because you're you impacting possibly, the world. You're impacting the world, and you possibly can help me even impact the world you know, on a different level. Like it's it's stuff like that where it's like you can't put a dollar sign behind that to me. But that's not the case nowadays. Okay, so Trace me, thirty. I'm older than Trace. So I can't. <laughs> so okay, it's guys. a different. It's a different so vibe. I had to, I'm thirty three. I had to come on here watching what I said, say or whatever, because my you know my dad just told me think before you react. No doubt. No kind of deal. But let's let's really get into detail now. You know what I mean? From the first situation. You know what I mean? Okay, cool. I offer, nigga. I have a. I have so much opportunities for a nigga like that I'm with no you know what I mean motherfucker told me they wanted a, a, a restaurant motherfucker I can cook my sister's going to school for for business for a, a, a whole restaurant right now like she's gonna get her own restaurant you know what I mean and like my name is gonna be on the menu because I'm gonna do the dinner thing you know she only know how to do like the breakfast thing or whatever but um anyways I offered the nigga the restaurant offered the nigga the food truck offered the nigga the fucking trucking company everything you know what i mean just everything so many opportunities so many you don't even know nigga i bring so much to the fucking table you don't even know that shit you know what i mean but it's like what can you do for me what can you do for me you have all this money but yet and still you're just like i don't know like i said i think he's just scared to 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 spend his money because he feel like he'll be a trick or something you know what i mean and maybe that's just not who he is. He's not a person that's just going yeah, to maybe, just openly yeah, spend his money people, like that. But if I'm it's, willing to put you in a better position, no matter. you should be willing to invest some, in me. No, some people don't have that type of ambition. They got money. How did they get that money? Maybe their ambition is in something else, not yeah. a restaurant. You know, he may could cook whatever the fuck he could do. His ambition is not that. Or, and not only just that, I'm a... I'm a be keeping 100% of bucks. Say if it's me. Say if I had all this money and I'm dating somebody that has all this ambition and all these things. What are we really doing here? We married, we dating, we kicking it. What are exactly. we doing? Because I ain't put... so that's why I've been saying this whole night. Just to see no, no, you're I'm not, not, you're not, not telling nobody what he's we, we together, nigga. We are okay. sneaky, like, okay, nigga. No, you okay, like, fair. You know, you get because I ain't put no money in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, what I'm you, saying no, you're right, you're right. You're saying the same shit. Fair. Yeah. I literally, I, I, I be designing clothes, all this shit, nigga. Like you got the money to invest in me to put me in my own lingerie, my own line. You know what I mean? I only got knowledge for a hoe I ain't married to. Not to say it like but that, but that's just how so yeah. that's that's I come from. Yeah. Like, like you ain't you ain't doing shit for me. So yes, it's all about the money at this point. What can you do for me? Cause I got the knowledge, nigga. You got the bread. Put me in a better position, then. But then, but then they get into like business of her. Be like, okay, you know? I could put you in that position, but since we not married, you're investing I need, in me. Yeah, I need you're X percentage. Percentage. Do you know what an investment yeah. is, nigga? You're investing in me, nigga. So that means whatever I make, you make a percentage of that. You know what oh, I mean? You, yeah, that's so, what I'm saying, contract. Yeah, exactly. but however, but even with that, some though, women don't be okay with it. They be a lot of I, times. A lot of times I'm when you date dating somebody and you talking about a contract, people want a contract that's more so favorable to them. Whereas if you ain't bringing no money to the table, and I'm putting all my money up. My I should be making more of my investment than you get in first. My money come first. You got to pay me off my investment. So really, the way that works is if I put all the money up. Get my money first, then you get yeah, your money. Then you start, yeah. Big fast, that's business. Well, most money, people don't yeah. agree with that. Long long you okay <laughs> with it. Nigga, that's different. business. But Nick, you, mo most of motherfuckers don't think like y'all. You know what I mean? But most so people be like, like, well, I'm giving you this pussy. That's what you yeah, mean? Yeah, what a pussy. All the other hoes got pussy that. too. But listen, y'all don't even know. Y'all okay, don't even well, realize. So many bitches got only fans now. So many bitches just stripping now. So many bitches is really out here. Pussy is money now. And y'all niggas know that. Y'all niggas know that. Don't act dumb, nigga. No, niggas, no, no. It helps yeah, pussy out pussy here. Yeah, pussy is money now. <laughs> it didn't used to be back then. It used to be back then, nigga. The men would provide. Men would come with shit to get the women. You know what I mean? Mm. That That's the that's back in the day. You know what I mean? But now it's like, okay. I meant today when niggas had two but families. But today. Yeah, this I meant, today. I meant now, this is today. Now, bitches is wanting money for, for shit, nigga. What, you, what, what can you do for me, nigga? That's what they're saying. Yeah. So do y'all? That's what we're saying. No, fair. So that's then. This is now. Now what's the question? There, niggas got to be able to come back within that. However exactly. you see fit. Yeah. Exactly. You got to be able to weather so, the yeah. storm. So I'm nigga with a bag, and like I said before, if I'm nigga with a bag, I'm checking off on you. Maybe I will marry you. Maybe not. Maybe but not. I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna get a new model eventually. So even a before that. So so do y'all think? Um, I need to pour some more in my. Yeah, pour some more in mine too. Do you really? So should a man who's not financially stable should he not date? I think he should focus on himself. What you said, Kessa? She said we. Let, 
What you say? I don't think he shouldn't be dating, but I feel like he should be focusing on getting himself right mm-hmm. before he could get into a relationship. Cause you know, you gotta be able to, you know, I don't know. Provide. Provide and do what you can for your lady. Mm-hmm. Cause even though, like we said, um, now it's we don't look for um we don't look for love and relationships anymore at this point. It's just more Well, I feel like we do look for love, but Do you? I or do. intimacy. Or like love, compassion and love things intimacy, like that. Love all that. I need all it, that. I get it is a different love and intimacy is kind of different. Mm-hmm. People do be lonely they okay with being single but they do need a like intimacy they need another person they need a body and shit like it ain't got to be sex but they need a body they need a person they could connect with so mm-hmm. i understand that shit absolutely but uh back to what you're saying like hmm? what you were saying and shit whatever like um people should get their shit together i agree like people always give me flag and shit because i like I need a bag before I jump into a relationship for me. I want my bills on auto pay, all that good shit, whatever. Right. And shit. And I lost hella women because I ain't make them my girlfriend and shit because I like shit. Ain't like I'm broke, but I'm broke type shit. Mm-hmm. Like, and they take fact to that. But like, when there's women out here, especially in this day and age, it ain't like I would break them off and shit. But like, if it's women out here who acquire money to be with them you know i ain't gonna be that nigga but I, i'm doing it all my own self like you feel me security just because i want to be good and shit like it ain't about them it's about me but then there's really women out here you, they want a nigga with a bag and shit just on gp so like i can't knock both sides so i honestly think if you ain't got no money, you shouldn't be in a relationship as a nigga. You we just saying date. Or, really? No, you shouldn't Period. date. No, in, I don't, I don't general, think so. I don't think so. If you broke, you shouldn't date. Like, you fuck should it, just... As a man, focus on yourself. Mm. That's how I feel. TK Kirk gonna say that shit too all the time on bad TV. Who the fuck is TK Kirk? <laughs> <laughs> it don't even matter. Wait, okay. It, 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 it's now. It's a different guy. Who the He's a comedian. <laughs> don't even forget it, about it. It don't matter. Okay. Forget about it. Don't, it, it, it doesn't okay. relevant. Just, just go okay, along with what the fuck I'm saying. Wow. Wow. Oops. It don't even fucking matter. Okay. But like, feel me? As a man, why the fuck you dating bitches if you broke? Like, you feel me? Bitches need shit. Oh, yeah. Thank bitches you. need shit. So, like, if I can provide it, what the fuck I'm taking a bitch out for? Man, listen, I don't know, but... I mean, I, I do wanna... free shit. That's so, cool, like, that's cool, but listen... I'm she... saying seriously. But let me get to what I'm gonna say, though. I ain't finished. Oh, go ahead. My bad, because... <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, so even like I ain't I even you. even if I ain't like have all the money in the world, I know the free shit and shit. But I just mean for me taking them seriously and then really pursuing. I'm gonna fuck up and do my thing and shit. You feel mm-hmm. me? But on the pursuing aspect, you gotta have a bag. That's okay, all. I'm saying. I got a question for you guys. Y'all ask why is it nowadays that women are in like into money more than into love? Into money more than love. Okay, cool. Now, this is the question for y'all. Why do y'all think women are more interested in sugar daddies more than a fucking boyfriend? Um, honestly, that went back to my first point. Yeah, it does go back to your no, first just point. Answer, for sure. No, just answer it. Just answer it though, for real. Why do you guys think a, a, a female want a sugar daddy? I mean, uh, more than a boyfriend. I think, I think, um, they want a mixture of both. I think they they want they want who they gonna like a lot. They gonna want they want who gonna take them to do whatever. They want both. Love. I think they want and to make sure both. They don't want just one. Love. But they they don't necessarily want it in the same person. I mean, it ain't necessarily here. always Most, the same I, person. I'll be wrong here. Most of the time they want love from a nigga they age with a bag. Yeah. But a lot of times it's rare. Niggas ain't rapping. Niggas ain't balling. Everybody ain't selling That's dope. Everybody ain't scamming. Question. True. Everybody ain't scamming like them niggas with the bag and shit. So niggas, so, the nigga so niggas, no, no, that's no, no, not no, 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 no. Niggas, niggas grow into getting money because at like the older we get, just it's just natural as a man. The bag gets bigger, right. so our bag is bigger. Now the bitch want to fuck with us and shit. Yeah. So then, and also to piggyback off that though, you what, guys are avoiding the question. 
question. No, 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 Rather He's than a boyfriend, you. no, I, you're I, saying, I, you know, you're saying now, like, oh, I don't, I have the money, I didn't have the money now. Okay, I'm as not, the older, I'm, no, you're talking about then, and then a, in the future. As an older man, I got a better bag. I'm talking about now, though. No, now, I'm saying, yeah, okay. right now, as let so me I'm give a, you the short. I'm, I'm gonna break it down. So, perfectly, perfect example. Now, us as thirty year old men okay. have a lot more money than just even though we ain't balling, we have a lot more money than people that are twenty five generally. Just I naturally. So let's let me so finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. So so a we girl understand. that's 24, 25 is more likely to date somebody in their thirties possibly because they have the money that the twenty five year olds don't have. We could go exactly. We, we go out for drinks and stuff like that, and it'd be it's like not, it's, it's nothing to us. And it's y'all like not hearing a question. I said I didn't why. answer this shit. <laughs> No, y'all not. What are we saying? Because y'all keep saying like you, you're you're referring to like we a guy. We referring to us as a sugar daddy age. No, <laughs> thirty years old is not a sugar daddy's age. Let's it's close enough, goddamn. Nah, it. fuck it. Nah, nigga, it's, it's forty. Not. It's forty and up. Let's be honest. So they have even more nigga, what, money. Exactly. We're, we're, we're so why would we about want it. someone with less money than a nigga with more money? Because the nigga with more money ain't gonna love you. Exactly. The young nigga gonna love you, but he ain't got no money. We work. We we, 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 we try to get into just. We try to get into steps of the progression. My That's question it. was: Listen to my question. Listen to it you. closely. Why would a female want a, a nigga with no money, like a boyfriend, rather than a sugar daddy who's gonna For provide love. everything? For love. Exactly. And I that goes, that ain't gonna love her. For love. And that goes into your first question. Why would if why and nowadays why is females dating guys for money rather than love? Now let's let, let let's get into it. I think that I let's said get, let's get into it. They date let's both. Get, they date both of them. Let's get into it. They date in both. They do date both. Let's They're dating both. Let's get into it. Let's let's really get into it. Though. Like you said, most of them date okay, both. Let's get into they it. They date both, but they will fuck with the shit that cause then they gonna break them off. Like okay, that's the answer then. That's the answer. <coughs> so what? Okay, myself. cool. That's the answer. Okay, what's that the, sugar daddy gonna break their ass off? Next time, whatever they want, not gonna love whatever her. they want, they need. And then I'm, they go once to a boyfriend. You get old, they have some once you have any discrepancy, I don't like. I'm replacing you. Not even not even replacing you. No, you gotta deal with the fact that I talk to these other hoes oh, too. Yeah, You're yeah. not the only one fact, that I'm paying I, for. I'm my bad. You're never getting replaced. So example I'm going to have be, all the hoes in the world. And not only that, I'm not posting you because I might got an actual girlfriend that's my age that I love. And, and I, I might got a wife. Oh, and I might got a wife. And I might got a wife. I might got a wife. And I got, a got, a wife. Got, a wife. And I got three yeah. other young ones. Yeah. What are you what? talking about? That's how that works. shit. Shut the fuck up. No, dead serious. Like, that's how that works. And why do you think back in the day, in the 80s, before social media, niggas had two, three families? All everybody grandparents Nigga, that's got Muslim two Muslim families. No, that shit was everybody. <laughs> everybody family. Yeah, everybody granddaddy had multiple. Families. But no one was married. No, nobody. Yeah, no, he had a main wife, and he had a bitch across town, thirty minutes away. I get that. Thirty minutes away was far back. Then. But was that like? <laughs> That's you know still going on today. No, no, G shit. Because my granddaddy was like that. You know what I mean? Ooh, Everybody was, granddaddy was. was like, my granddaddy was like that. Yeah. We, my that, granddaddy that, got that's like, his whole point. That literally my whole point. My granddaddy so got now, 16 kids. That my granddaddy got 16 kids. Fuck you, It makes sense. And all the women ain't know about each other till later. But he had one main bitch, and that was my granny. You, that was you my granny. You, you literally, you just explained my I whole know, point. so I'm, ex- I'm yeah. telling you, like I'm agreeing to it. Like that was so my that granny. ain't no different now. So as a sugar daddy, why the fuck am I gonna post you when I got other bitches? I got a main girlfriend and a wife. You just one of my bitches. You know why though? Why? Why? Cause back in the motherfucking day, niggas used to come with shit to offer bitches. He they offer got you shit. shit. He your sugar what, daddy. You guys, we're talking about now though. Y'all talking now, about money? I'm not forty years old. We, we talking about shit. What are you about now? Even now, love and money. Love and money. Love. I, this is, love have and you money. ever been like when you were younger, dated a nigga where you just took care of everything? No. You never have. No. And never no, been I was six years old. You... Nigga bought me my first car. Bitch paid, bought me my first phone at 15. Bitch, my, bitch, oh, everything. Oh, great. You, you had a great life. Yeah. Cause, cause like, I, I feel like growing up, niggas. I ain't never had a nigga who. Go find no. bitches who have more money. I would agree with you. No. Yeah. So what I grew up, you when you say like we go for niggas in their 30s. Yeah, because they have more to offer. They're not coming for just sex. They're like coming like with dates, trying to buy you things. And stuff like that more than just sex trying to so like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, sex is okay. important, but they will still like they'll try to. They won't just come for okay, that first. Okay, we got more money spending. <clears throat> That's why, like, when I got older, I started dating niggas older because 
yeah, they want sex too, but they still like will like show you more than that. Take you on dates, you know, like I guess buy you things that they got it like that, whatever. But they will like show you a little bit more than just wanting to fuck you and stuff like that. Because if they want to fuck you, then it's like okay, you know, they got other bitches. And, a lot of niggas and tricks that's off on, their. A lot of niggas trick off on bitches so they can fuck. But also, what's tricky no. is who's a lot of niggas. Facts. But wait Cars, though, clothes, who's a lot of niggas? They just flash things. No, 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 no. no. no, no, no. Cause, cause no niggas no, gonna be no, tricking off right? on a bitch and buying all that stuff unless like they see more in you. No, but no, no, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true at all. That's not true at all. Well, I ain't true. never met no nigga that's gonna be like, do you, oh, do you doing all this for you? You bitch, you fucked him, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Exactly. I'm not saying, exactly. but also, exactly. I'm not saying I'm not, but I'm saying like before oh I did, because like when I was younger, I used it's to be like, you gonna fuck it regardless. Let me say when I was younger, I used to be like more like not, I wouldn't say easy, but I used to be like okay, like yeah, I'm like first trying out sex, like yes, I'm, I'm ready for sex, but then after that, it's kind of like I ain't gonna lie. When I was younger, listen. Like, I was young. You I mean, I mean? Like, I'm, I'm fresh. The wrong Listen, people. fuck it. I'm fresh out the house, my nigga. I'm fresh out my parents' presence. You know what I mean? So when I see a nigga who's, like, interested in me, who has all these things, these flashy things, I'm gonna go. What's the difference now? The thing like, is, because I'm used to it. That was before, nigga. I'm used to it. I've been, I've been used well, to it. Well, I'm going to just say this. When nigga, I was younger, been, I didn't have niggas, niggas that had the flashy things. Niggas was bums. They wanted girls to take care of them. But as I grew older, then it was more niggas coming at you that had more to offer than you just. You could have, but it. it's it's young. It's when niggas is young. You could be flashy, still not have shit. Yeah, like, that's, be right. that's true. Flashy. They can be wearing designer or wearing all yeah. this, and they could look like they have money, but they don't. But I don't go for that though. You have to like and show me. For her mindset and shit, like niggas was what breaking bread first quarter and shit. You say you got used to it. That's you got you got used to it, and that's your that's your requirement now. So you you say you said that ain't all that, but no, that's your requirement, and therefore, go back to my first point. It's not my requirement. It's just more of my expectations. I expect tomato, to tomato, a, right? Am but not a requirement. A requirement is something that you have to have. Mm-hmm. And the expectation okay, is something fair. that I'm like. I'm used like you. I'm, you should have. You know what I mean. But if you don't, yeah, that's, that's cool. You know what yeah, I mean. You know that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. So, so you're okay with the genuosity type shit, like more genuine. Like so, yeah. would you fuck with a nigga just a regular nigga, like you vibe well and shit, but it's just like he ain't spurging like the other nigga can. Are you are you cool with that? <laughs> are you cool with that? Are you oh cool my with god. Just a nigga with just um, a regular paycheck getting paid every two weeks and shit. But also, no, but, no. But wait, wait, I gotta pause that. I gotta pause that. I gotta pause that. Because I'm a be, perfect gonna, example. Be real. But in your 30s, you making a lot more money, you made you 25, right? Yeah. I'll tell you, you what. Could, you'll be spending money now that would be splurging when you was 25. Yeah. You know also, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it'd be like, but there's also really niggas yeah. now that are making money when they're 25. True. True, but they don't yeah. know how to spend it sometimes. So, so what I'm saying, once again, as an older, as older guys, they know how to be more enticing to younger women. It's like, okay, I know what they like. This don't really cost nothing to me, but it costs something to people her age. You're like, okay, and pay for this, pay for also, that. Also, like, going hours. back, you said ain't requ- like requirement is just what you, ex- more of an expectation. Like, as niggas like us, like, not... I don't want to throw you guys in this category. Okay, mm-hmm. don't. But I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say it. But like on some G shit, nigga don't fuck real hoes, real strippers who get money from other niggas and shit, but don't require it from niggas like me type shit. Like, but that's a requirement from other niggas. You know what I mean? So you know what? I fucking even, you just I, to fuck you then? No, no, no. Huh? Let me ask so you. So you just fucking you just to fuck you then? No. You're a great guy. Yes, I mean, when you, <laughs> provide a, a, when you provide a certain vibe and yeah. a certain, like, yeah. you just, just have a good time. Wait, what's going on? No, it ain't. It ain't not just a moment. It's, it's not if a moment. It's 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 and it ain't that. And she's talking about who going off a vibe. If you if you go hang out with somebody and you have the best time out of everybody else you're hanging out with, you're gonna continue hanging out with them. Even yeah, if they're gonna, gonna fuck time. them. If you having a good time like you're supposed yes, to be, you yes, gonna fuck them. Yes, yeah, that's a fact. That's you don't think so? It happened to me. That might be for the girls. We are we are men. 
If you're I used to go off vibes time. when I was younger, so but if you're as attracted... I grow older, I'm like, I'm not just gonna give my pussy up because we're vibing. Like, well, wait, well, wait. Let's clarify, because you're what, 24? So a vibe to you is different than a vibe to us. Might be a vibe to us. We're gonna show. Ma- you're a man. What's a vibe to y'all? We're then? a female. You have a dick. We have a feet. Fe- like, it ain't pussy. about. It's, it's not. It's no, not it's starting off and not even about so sex. The vibe, the vibe, the vibe to you. Is- the vibe to you might be, oh, this bitch throwing pussy, this bitch shaking no. ass. No, no, right, he's open. That's why I got to clarify. No, I get it. No, wait, stop, 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 Perspective. Me being a man, yeah. talk to a woman who might strip or sell pussy, mm-hmm. or just in general, or in general, just in general, okay. just, just in general, whoever. yeah, just in general. Okay. So feel me, like it's just great conversation, and not about sex, just about life and shit type shit. It's uh, we hanging out, we're conversing, we're doing dope ass shit, like dates and shit. It's just a, it's just a, we, it's a connection. Like it's a great connection. It don't have shit to do with sex. There is no sex it's involved sex is, until sex becomes involved. Yeah, exactly. It not the about, vibe is has yeah, nothing to do with sex. Yeah, it not yeah. the vibe don't have shit to do with sex. We're not even talking about sex the whole fucking time. That's We're what just, sets the tone. Exactly. It's everything outside of sex. Cause they expect a nigga to do it. And it's like, no. But niggas ain't doing that. Let's like, go, we just cooling. Like, let's, let's go to the park. Let's yeah. do a picnic. Let's do this. Exactly. Let's do that. Let's go out let's for drinks. Let's go out. Let's, let's go make How some ice cream. How long does that last for, though? Years. Until they it's act off. It doesn't stop. That's it's nice. It doesn't even matter. Fuck it. What was the Please. question, though? Because at this point, y'all answering. But she got to type. Because it sounds fun. No, nah, because I'm yeah, telling y'all. I'm, I'm telling y'all. A, bi- a female wants a guy who's, like, literally, like, interacting with her. Like, literally, not just... What did you just say? Acting like no, cause that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I just said. Okay, fair. I'm saying like a, a female wants a nigga who's interacting, who's actually not just trying to fuck. Like, of course, niggas. Every nigga around a female who want to fuck. Oh, baby, this and that. You know, don't no bitch really want that. You know what I mean? So I'm what aware. I'm saying is, what you just cl- clarified basically is that like a female really wants to be felt like she's wanted, like. Feel me, bitch. Like, don't fucking just feel my, like you want to fuck yes, me. Yes, facts. Because, nigga, I can fuck any nigga around here. Exactly. You know what I mean? But, but if, you, if, if, you, if we, we vibing if for I'm real, the, If like, I'm the nigga who paid to fuck with you when it was a required. Hey, we're talking about what money. Well, listen to let her finish. Yeah, yeah, you let gotta me finish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, if I'm the nigga who paid for your time, if it was a requirement. Uh, 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 not a requirement, but a necessity. You pay for my time. But a necessity what do you for, mean your pay time? for your time. <laughs> so like, so like, Taking example. Taking you on a date. A trick. No, because he just said he, he just said he go on dates. Who pay for your time? So he's saying like, say, You're say you gotta pay, buy you a bag of front. Real, like, Stop. Don't take it literal. Don't oh, take. Oh, it. Don't, okay. I'm so not saying. What do you mean by pay for your time, man? Like you gotta remember. You gotta remember. They still thinking a date is some of tricking. So he's saying that date is the vibe. Not a tricking to me. That's what he's saying. That is not. I ain't saying. That's not a trick. Just the okay, but, but say if you your, paid for a bag yeah, or yeah. some shoes, like you said, like, like you need up front without like, when you, you hanging say out. You need a nigga with a he bag. Cash out, like, yeah, like you say, you say you need you need a. Wait, well, y'all gonna cheers in one second. After okay. you, oh, you say okay. you Let need a, you say you need a nigga with a bag and shit. If I know a woman need a bag, no, that's a requirement. You trying? I said you you didn't say a requirement. It's a necessity. You're not required. You 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 prefer that. The preference. You pre- it's your preference. So as a man, if I know that's your preference, and I got you off your preference, mm-hmm. yes, I'm just want to fuck. But if I got you outside of your preference, we vibing. It don't matter. But if I got you in your preference stage of me, like a nigga, it's more than money then at that point because it's it's more than money. Like it's it, if it's off the vibe, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's more yeah. Than yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for but sure. if it's sure. not if it's not just our vibe and it's going off the money. other aspect, if it's going off money. You should know what I want. Yes, I want to fuck. <laughs> and guess how? Like, like, no, I'm, just, I'm, just I'm just letting you know. As, I'm just letting you know as a man that what they think. So I'm, if yes. niggas getting you off of, of that, just know what it is. No, but nigga ain't getting us off that. Uh, That's what we saying. The most important thing. This this is what we all could agree on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because clearly we're not gonna agree on that. We're not gonna agree on that. But we all could agree Salud. that black men don't Salud. cheat. This has been a wholesome podcast. We appreciate y'all for coming through today. Wavy Trey, wholesome B-Mitch.